Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my living room. So Andrew and I bought this home about six months ago and when we were looking to buy a house, we talked about intentional living because we wanted to utilize every single inch of our space and we didn't want rooms that were not going to be used or basically wasted. And we also needed a one-story home because our dog, Ginger, she's a little bit old and going up and down the stairs would just not be good for her health. So when we saw this home, it was perfect for what we needed. It has a really nice open floor plan and some high ceilings. That was the one thing that I wanted in the home as well. So today's video, I thought I would take you around, give you a little bit of a design tour to show you how I made the home feel cozy and cohesive. So our design style changes every single week. I'm like a psycho. I love to always switch things around, but I always strive for a cozy, neutral, and earthy feeling space. And I do that by adding lots of texture, lots of natural elements. So one of the first statement pieces that we bought for our home is actually this piece of art from Pottery Barn. Okay, so because we have high, tall ceilings, it was important that we add pieces that were large enough to make the space feel even larger. So the art piece from Pottery Barn is huge and it really fills up the space perfectly so that when you enter our living room, your eyes are immediately drawn to the art piece and up into the ceilings, making our space feel even larger. If you love this piece, I'm gonna link it down in the description box down below. It's actually now, um, I believe, on clearance and on sale. So if you love it, get it. Our couch is also from Pottery Barn. Um, it's the Turner couch in the beautiful vintage leather. I love a good leather couch. I think it adds just the perfect amount of coziness and warmth because it's in that natural, warm, neutral color. Now, our pillows are all from Home Goods. I love woven textures. This reminds me of something from Amber Interiors. Her shop is so incredible, like rustic, homey, vintage vibes. This one is a little bit larger and one of my favorite pillows, and we have a lot of pillows. This one is so soft, so comfy, and so cozy. And again, the woven texture is absolutely beautiful. Our um, table lamps or our floor lamps are actually from Home Goods. Again, Andrew spotted this one when we first moved in. It's stunning. I love the black um, metal detail. And I love the glass because it reminds me of something that you would find like in a farmhouse. I love mixing different styles in our home, whether it's farmhouse, bohemian, rustic. And I like to stick to a neutral color palette because it makes it easy to decorate. It makes it easy to switch things around and add pops of color when I need it. Now, I want to talk about my rug because this rug is my baby. I found this from Home Goods. And it's one of my absolute favorite finds. It has a vintage Turkish style effect. It's all hand loomed, handmade in India. And rugs like this could cost thousands of dollars. And actually, this exact rug is still selling online for almost $5,000. But because I found it from Home Goods, it was a fraction of the cost. It was so affordable and a good rug will last you for years and years. So the coffee table is actually one of the first pieces we got for the home. It's from a designer that we found on Etsy. His name is Jason Vestrusi. And when I was looking for inspo photos for the living room, I was really inspired by Scandinavian designs. So if you notice, the table is very like skinny, very Scandy. Ooh. But what I love about it is the live wood edge. It again adds that cozy factor to the living room, which is very important when 
we're spending a lot of time here. So on our coffee table, a lot of this is from Home Goods. This stunning, stunning amethyst slice is from Home Goods. I got it for $14.99 and I feel like they priced it at a wrong price because when I look up um, similar items online, they're selling for hundreds of dollars. But I love adding crystals and geodes because it's still earthy, but it gives you a little bit of that sparkle and it feels a little bit glam. This Louis Vuitton book was such a find, again, also from Home Goods. I actually got this around the holidays. They had so many designer coffee table books and it just makes, makes any space feel kind of bougie. Um, this Architectural Digest book, again, from Home Goods. Um, this, this little glass bowl is by Nude Glass. It's a really fancy glassware brand. And again, from Home Goods. And I have some lavender poopery that we got from Pottery Barn. Um, the smell and the scent of our home is very important. I love coming home when the living room smells super fresh. Down here, I have a basket from Ikea, and I just have like a little boho throw that I like to put in there and kind of just, you know, do a little, do a little fringe moment like that. I created this little um, nook here, little seating area. This chair is from Wayfair. I love the ash-toned wood. Again, adding those natural materials so I get that cozy feel. This ottoman is stunning. It's a woven macrame and it's from Pier 1. And I'm actually using it as kind of a little bit of a side table. I have this beautiful basket from Home Goods. This rustic vessel is also from Home Goods. And I wanted to add some faux branches. This is from uh, this is from Hobby Lobby, and I think it just adds that like, I don't know, having florals and branches and greenery just makes the space feel lively and homey and very chic. So, um, this little furry accent chair is from World Market. Again, one of our first pieces for the home. Um, we didn't want to spend too much money on the accent chairs because we normally sit down on our couch anyways. These pillows are from Home Goods, down filled so that they look super luxurious. It's all woven and hand embroidered. So even though I only paid about like $16, I know that this came from like a luxury store because of the quality of the pillow. Okay, so moving right along, right behind me, um, we have this stunning neutral piece from Home Goods and Pieces like this, you guys, it, it could cost hundreds, even thousands of dollars like to get a neutral, earthy, handmade piece. Now, this one is by Sarah Brooke. She is an artist from Melbourne, and um, I think it was around $180 for this piece, but when I looked it up online, something similar from her line cost thousands of dollars. Like, I think it was like $1,200. So, this was a steal. By now you know that I love going to Home Goods to find luxury pieces at a fraction of the cost. All right, so moving on to our little entryway right over here. So our entryway actually is <laughs> non-existent. It's just this little area right here, but I added some greenery so that when my guests walk in, they immediately feel that coziness that I'm trying to go for. Over here, I have a ZZ plant in a basket from Home Goods. This art piece is really pretty. It's an abstract piece. I love the neutral colors again. And over here, we have a little light switch that's still a work in progress. And this really nice photo is of Andrew and I. This is from our Thanksgiving dinner. So right over here, we actually have our fireplace that hasn't been used yet, and we're thinking of actually taking this down and just having a little bit of a console moment. And here is our TV. It's a 75 inch TV, and I feel like it's a little bit big for our space, but it is nice to have that nice, crisp, large um, situation. So down here we have, oh my God, I love, I have to show you this. 
This is a stunning throw blanket that we got from Anthropology when we were in Seattle for my birthday. And I love that Moroccan style and those giant pom-poms are just so nice. It's all hand woven, all hand done. Again, it adds to that cozy factor. Um, this beautiful basket is from Pier One. And I like just decorating baskets with throw blankets just like this. I love having those tassels out. This little pillow is from, ooh, she's dirty. I got her from Target and it kind of just matches the couch, pulls in those colors together. So over here we have our fiddle leaf fig. She is very difficult. She hasn't grown one bit since I got her. But when Andrew and I first moved in, we really wanted a lot of greenery in our space. So plants were a must. Now we are here in our kitchen and we have a lot of white cabinetry and black hardware. Our island is also a white marble, so I wanted to introduce a lot of homey, cozy touches. So I added this basket stool, basket counter stool from Pier One. When I saw this one, I thought it was absolute perfection. I've been looking for a basket counter stool for months. And of course, I didn't want to pay hundreds of dollars um, like you see on like Serena and Lily and Restoration Hardware. This one was around like 119, so very affordable, but I still get the look. I still get the vibe. I love burning candles all throughout our home um, all day, every day. So this one is teak wood. I actually got this from Home Goods. It's by the brand Sand and Fog. It's so good, it really fills up a room. And I'm gonna talk about this electric lighter because I use this all the time. And it is, it is by the brand Tropro. I got it on Amazon and I'm gonna link it for you down below. I'm gonna light this candle. All I have to do is turn on the switch. And it's so easy. It takes just a few seconds and it turns off automatically. It's so aesthetically pleasing, it's so cute. I have this rustic vessel here. This is giving me like rustic farmhouse vibes. I got this from Home Goods and the pompous grass. Um, again, adding those natural elements help make our space feel cozy and it helps make everything cohesive as well. So right around here, um, this kitchen has gone through three different runner rugs at this point. This is brand new. I got this again from Home Goods. It was such a find. When I got it, I thought the colors were gonna be this beautiful woven knitted um, effect, but it's actually brighter than what I expected. The style is a vintage Kazakh style, and you can see like the beautiful pattern, and I just want this to be vintage and worn out. So since it's in our kitchen, we can just kind of walk around and make it distressed, and hopefully it'll get muted and beautiful in no time. So right around here, we have a coffee maker. We have our coffee maker. Again, I love having crystals everywhere. This is also from Home Goods. It's like a giant piece of smoky quartz. We have our oven and our cooking area right over here. I don't know too much about the appliances, but it serves a purpose. And over here we have our knives. I have this really beautiful, um, what is this called again? Table tower dispenser. Table tower, ugh. Paper. Paper towel dispenser from Home Goods. I love this pattern. It just feels really cozy and homey. Over here I have a little ZZ plant. I have this piece from Pier One. It just again adds a little bit of that rustic vibe. We have our cutting boards here. These are from Home Goods, all from Home Goods. And this section of the kitchen, I haven't really decorated yet. I'm not sure what to do, but I did add all of my geodes there. I collect them from Home Goods. Again, earthy, but still sparkly and very pretty, just like my hoodie today. Um, over here, I have this little, ew, what's that? I have a soap dispenser, again, from Home Goods. I love this kind of tile effect, it makes it look cozy and homey. Um, we're not gonna talk about the sink because there's stuff there right now. 
This little basket situation is from Pier One. I love how it kind of ties in with our bar stools. Again, making it feel cohesive because our space is just one encompassing area. So moving right along over here, we actually have some live plants. We have a little bit of a philodendron here. We have my string of hearts that just keeps on growing. It loves me so much. It, it's been blooming since we got it last year in San Diego. Okay, moving right along to our dining table. This farmhouse table is actually a restoration hardware dupe. We got this from World Market during the holidays. They're having an incredible deal. We got it for so cheap, so inexpensive. These beautiful chairs are a Industry West dupe. Um, I saw one of their chairs on a design show and it was so beautiful, so stunning, but it was also like 800 a chair and I don't have time for that. So I got this one from Amazon. I'm gonna link this for you down below. It's so comfy. I love the warm wood color and the black leather seat just gives it that nice bit of contrast and it ties in all the black accents that we have in our home. So, moving right along, we have this stunning, stunning vessel. This is from Pottery Barn. It's so vintage, rustic, like European farmhouse. I'm obsessed. It was a little bit expensive, but it's absolutely beautiful. If you look closer, there's all these like distressed details, these little paint splatters, and we have just some faux olive branches right on top. And again, it adds that coziness and that warmth to the dining room. Um, up next, I have this throw blanket from Anthropology. It's again, that Moroccan style woven throw. Adds to the coziness and the, um, it just adds a little bit of print and color to our space. And now I just, Mess it up, but that's okay. Here we have our marble shelf that we actually got from Home Goods. Um, again, one of the first pieces that we got for the house. We wanted to tie in the kitchen details to this corner here. Normally, we have a lot more um, alcohol and different things on this shelf, but I wanted to style it up for you today, make it look pretty. So up here, I have. Um, this beautiful vessel from Pottery Barn. I love the black color. Again, ties in everything together. These coffee table books are from Home Goods. So is that abstract art piece out there. I love adding like little bits of gold just to add that, um, I don't know, just that shiny factor. We have Alexa over here. She is like falling off the shelf, um, but we love having our appliances hooked up to Alexa and Siri because when we come home, we like all the lights to turn on. And I don't know, just having a smart home is so convenient. This photo is really special because this is one of our first dates that we went on. We went to a Carolina Herrera viewing event and then we went to have some dinner, I think afterwards, but it's so cute. Look how young I look here with my curly hair and my Glasses and Andrew, you look so cute here, babe. <laughs> you are funny. Anyway, okay, down here we have a Gucci fan. Actually, I have two of them. This was one of my favorite collections um, from Gucci. One says Gucci and one says Modern Future. And now I just have it kind of, oh my gosh, I actually sat on this one and I was so sad. So we're just gonna put them back where they belong. Um, okay. All right, I love like the neutral color and the black script. It kind of matches this art piece over here that I got from Society6. Actually the brand is Society6, but I got it from Home Goods. I love the abstract neutral color, of course. And down here, back to the shelf, um, I have some more pieces. These are actually all from Home Goods, you guys. Like, don't sleep on Home Goods because they have stunning decor pieces. Again, I have geodes to add that earthy but sparkly kind of feel. The Chanel coffee table book, Vogue coffee table book, and this little vessel is also from Home Goods. Down here, I have a heart shaped philodendron, and she is like 
she's living her best life. She is growing so much and she's just in this little corner. She loves this spot, so we're just gonna keep her right there. So moving right along, actually, right down here, I have this kind of quirky face stand. It reminds me of something that you would find from Jonathan Adler. So I picked this up from Home Goods. This basket is from World Market, and I have my Monstera Deliciosa right over here. Um, okay, this little corner is actually Andrew's office, but we're not gonna show that because he likes his privacy. Right, everyone, that is it for our mini home tour. But I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below if any of my design tips or styling will help you out in designing your own home whether that be adding a large art piece to define a space and make it feel larger, or adding some florals and greenery into some stunning vessels to make your space feel cozy and lively. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.